And I'll tell you, figuring out your unique value that you offer to the world Mm -hmm. is one of the best assets that you have better than any other investment you could make. You know, that will be something that will pay you forever, not just in the monetary possibility, but in your fulfillment. You got to pick yourself up, go backwards and slam yourself at the wall like 500 more times until the wall crumbles. 25% of middle school girls already believe they'll never achieve their dream career. Dream career. Hi, I'm Kara Golden, founder and CEO of Hint, Hint. and you're Hint. listening to Unstoppable, a podcast spotlighting the journeys of inspiring entrepreneurs. I believe that at its core, leadership is about constantly learning from the people around you. And I'm so inspired by the conversations we're having in our upcoming episodes and can't wait to share them with you. This season, some of my guests include Andrew Dudham, founder of Hims, Erica Nardini, CEO of Barstool Sports, Daniel Dubois and Whitney Tingle, co-founders of Sakara Life, and much, much more. Plus, we asked the million dollar question, What does it really take to be unstoppable? Unstoppable. Let's find out. Hi, everybody. It's Kara Golden from Unstoppable, and we are here with one of my favorite, favorite people, Lisa Sasevich. Yay, Lisa! Lisa's tuning in to us from San Diego, and as I mentioned, Lisa's a friend of mine. Full disclosure, she's also an investor in Hint, too, and we met a few years ago, and she is one of the smartest people that I know in sort of helping small businesses and people who just have ideas that don't know how to ultimately make them into something bigger. And we've been talking about doing this for a while, but we thought that there was no better time to do this, not only with all of what's going on in the world right now, but also because she's got a new book coming out in just a couple, not even a couple of weeks. So we're very, very excited to have her here to talk about that. So just a little bit about Lisa in case uh, you want a little bit of background. After 25 years of winning top sales awards and training senior executives at companies like Pfizer and Hewlett Packard and lots of big companies, she left corporate America and in just a sh- a few short years created a multi-million dollar business while raising a couple of kids as well. So we love those dual taskers, as I call them. Now she's an award-winning entrepreneur, business coach, and a queen of sales conversion. So if you all want to know how to convert sales, Lisa is definitely your person. She teaches uh, lots of people who are made on basically how to get your message out and just enjoy massive results overall. Um, she had a book before the queen of sales conversion, which was super, super great. And I loved it. And now her new book meant for more is coming out. In addition to the book, she has a whole, uh, a whole toolkit uh, that we can talk a little bit more about too. But anyway, welcome, 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 Lisa. So I'm going to just dive right in and take us back to the beginning. I read, you know, obviously that you help these huge corporate giants. I'm sure maybe lots of other people were in that position uh, or are in that position now and thinking, how do I, you know, get out of here? How do I do more? And tell us a little bit about how this all started. Well, thanks for having me. And I feel like, um, God, there's just no way I could have known when I wrote Meant for More. And I, by the way, I just got my own copy from the publisher. So here it is. Hey, it looks awesome. Meant for More. And you've got to type in, if you go to grab this on Amazon or Barnes & Noble, by Lisa Sasevich. Meant for More by Lisa Sasevich. But there's no way I could have known when I wrote this that the formula inside, which is how to turn your knowledge into profit, would be like the number one thing people need right now when it comes to creating an additional income stream or comes to figuring out how to work from home where at the time we're recording us this most of us are um so i just feel really honored to be able to share what i've learned over the last you know decade probably more really um in helping you know all kinds of entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs to figure out 
what their unique gift is, and then how to turn it into what we call an irresistible offer. And an irresistible offer, you know, it's that offer that the person who needs your advice or your help would thank you for. They'd be like, I'm so glad I found you. I needed to know how to navigate the college process right now, for example. So, and you and I have shared yeah. some experts that we have, you know, passed referrals back and forth of people we've worked with for our finances, for our family, for our relationships, for our health, that have done just that, taken what they know and figured out how to help more people with it and make great money doing it. So that's the formula that's inside Meant For More. And um, you know, we're, we've been a home-based business actually since the beginning. And from home, using the exact strategies that are in the book, uh, while raising, you know, when I started this business, my kids were one and three, they're teens now. But um, you know, we've done over $40 million of sales we have been an Inc. 500 uh, acknowledged company um, two years in a row, number 20 in women-owned businesses in our, uh, here That's in San amazing. Diego. So the, you know, all those things came from what I have poured into the Meant for More formula, which you can all now get you know, at your favorite bookseller. So if you're holed up and looking for a way to grow, looking for a way that you know, you'll, you'll look back in three months and say, I'm really happy with what I did with that time. You know, I didn't just just get sucked into social and the news all day. I grew myself. And I really think that this is a chance for all of us to you know, ask ourselves, what will I be happy to have done? Not so what am you... I happy to do right now? You know, that, that could send us all different kinds of ways and that's one question you could ask. But what if you looked out, stood three months out and looked back and say, what will I be really happy that I did? How, how will I be really happy that I grew? And I'll tell you, figuring out your unique value that you offer to the world mm -hmm. is one of the best assets that you have, better than any other investment you could make, because regardless of circumstances, and we clearly have a chance to test that right now, um, people who have done that work and look to see you know, what is it that's unique about me that I could bring to the world, that I could help in a way that no one else is uniquely qualified quite like me, you know, that, that will be something that will pay you forever, not just in the monetary possibility, but in your fulfillment, totally. in the fulfillment that you have. So did you have people saying to you when you were, so what year was this that you started? Well, it's been uh, 2009, so it's been over a decade that, you know, I looked to discover my own unique value and it was, you know, it took a long path. I didn't have someone just handing me the formula in a book, which is why I wrote totally. it. Yeah. And um, I came to see for myself, for example, that, you know, something that I do that is, this is a clue, by the way, one way to look for your unique value, here's a clue, is look for things that are easy for you, but other people struggle with. Mm -hmm. And so I came to see that, you know, when I was working for Hewlett Packard, for Pfizer, for these different big companies, it was always really easy for me. And also with, you know, small things I'd start to, to make my offer, to offer my work, my services, my knowledge. Like I didn't have that thing like, ooh, sales. To me, yeah. it was just a way that I helped. In yeah. fact, I'm wired to really believe, and, and, and this is something that I can help you with, you know, others, anyone who doesn't believe this naturally, it's a gift I have. I'm wired to believe that it's a disservice. If you can help, it's a disservice not to make your offer. And I believe it's a disservice not to actually claim your value, even charge for your offer, because people get more out of it when they have some skin in the game. When they pay, they pay attention. So were, you, <laughs> oh, sorry. So, so were people telling you, like, you know, finding your value, like, were people always saying, hey, Lisa, you're so good at that? I mean, is that, like, how do people find that? I mean, yeah. is it something where they think back on, like, what do people always say to me? Well, actually, let me give you a couple of tangible, yeah. like, yeah. three different ways you can start to find that right now. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you're watching and this intrigues you and you, you know, Meant for More is really about that feeling that won't go away, that mm -hmm. knowing that we each have, that there is something that we have to give, but we can't quite get our finger on it. We don't know how to say it, right? Or we, or we know what it is and we don't know the steps to take. That's, that's what the Meant for More journey is about. And that's the formula in the Meant for More book. So, but I'd love to give you uh, some things you can start doing right now to follow the breadcrumbs, like while we've got that, that moment to look. So 
your question is so perfect. You know, did, were people telling you, were they asking you? So here's, here's one of the exercises that is in the book actually. Um, so think about for everyone listening or watching, think about it. Think about the times where people have come to you and said, Hey, Kara, Hey, can I take you to coffee? You know, or nowadays it would be, can we meet on Zoom real quick? Um, Do you have five minutes? I, I, do you have five minutes, right? <laughs> That's exactly. Do you have five minutes? I just, I'd love to pick your brain about X, right? And you and I had had this conversation the last yeah. time I saw you, you know, it's like, what is that thing that people always want to pick your brain about? Now, you get a lot of times people wanting to pick your brain about starting up. Mm -hmm. Right, because your your business that started as a startup, you know, just has has been such a beautiful contribution to the world of so many people, and been so successful. And I'm mm -hmm. so proud to be part of it. So, but, but they always want five minutes, as if you could share what you know in five in minutes. Five minutes, right? And and here's the problem: when we let people pick our brain for five minutes, is that we, you know, we're givers right? You're here, mm -hmm. you're attracted to Kara because that's who she is and you resonate with that. Mm -hmm. Same with me. So we go and we let them pick our brain, right? We like open up and we give it all. We, we pour 10 pounds of rice into a five pound bag, right? Like mm -hmm. we just go and we give. And the person, usually you can see there's a point where their eyes start rolling back in their head. Like it's even more than they can digest and they waddle off and they don't do anything with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, how many of you have lost weight and your friends say, how'd you lose the weight? And you tell them everything, you know, you know, and they're doing the same thing. Or how do you have such a great relationship with your teen or, you know, with your husband or, you know, how do you flip homes and you tell them everything, but do they go flip a home? Mm -hmm. Right. So all those things that we all have figured out that other people want to know, they want to pick our brain for five minutes. That's a clue that you have something of value. And when, here's, here's the kind of the bad news, when you keep giving it away free mm -hmm. and watching people do nothing with it, you can falsely start to believe that it doesn't have as much value as it does. Well, they didn't do anything. They didn't lose the weight. They didn't flip the home. They didn't invest the way I suggested. They didn't, you know, help their, their teen, you know, get into the college of their choice. It must not really be that valuable. So we tuck it away. And there are so many of people walking around with these incredible gifts, incredible ways to help, things you've done for your health, things you've done to detoxify your homes. You all know you've got these things you care about, but you question the value. And a lot of that is from giving it away. So that's the first thing you can do is notice where people want just five minutes to pick your brain, start mm -hmm. making a list, okay? The second thing is, um, and this is like kind of just the sister to that one. Notice where things are easy for you, but hard for others. So I started talking about this earlier. You know, for me, making my offer is easy. I love it. It's the way I love. It's the way I serve. But others are like, I don't want to be pushy. I don't want to be salesy. Or right now, I don't want to be an opportunist. It's right. not about any of that. You know, it's that there's an opportunity that mm -hmm. you're being given to help to make a difference, not just for the other people, but for you and your family and for places you love to give to. So don't worry about the being an opportunist, uh, opportunist. And we show you exactly in step four of the Meant for More formula, how you can make your offer, you know, without being pushy or salesy, you know, we'll, we give you the steps, but you've got to figure out what it is first. And it's one thing ultimately. Yeah. You know, ultimately, we've all got a lot that we offer. I think that's a great question. But here's an analogy. I call it your, your unique value, or another way I like to say it is your million dollar value. It's kind of like, um, imagine if there was a dime dropped on the floor, right? Mm -hmm. And your life journey, your meant for more journey is to get on your dime, you know, like all 10 toes. So while we all have a lot to offer, there is that one way that we each offer what we offer that's unique. Like there's a ton of people in health, but some people help women over 50 and some people help with postpartum depression and some mm -hmm. people help with, you know, I have a client who helps, you know, she helped herself. She found out she had multiple sclerosis 25 years ago. She's not a health professional. She's been symptom free for 25 years. She heard this advice. She followed the steps in the meant for more formula 
She now helps people all over the world, virtually, just like we are today, to live symptom-free. Amazing. You know? and, and she was able to retire from her work. Her husband left his job. They are helping people. People pay thousands of dollars for her live disease-free course. She's not a medical professional. She's just taking what she figured out, organizing what she knows, and then offering her advice out to folks who are looking for a solution. Well, and especially with great tools like Zoom, right? And yeah. like that is, and if you're working from home or you've recently lost your job, I mean, why, this is like such a great time for, you know, your book to sort of really, really help people figure this out. The other thing that you and I have talked about that, you know, I think is, is also really interesting is that so often entrepreneurs come to me and they say, well, I need to go raise a lot of money. I mean, I've got this idea. I, I, you know, point to people like you where, you know, you didn't go out and raise a lot of money, right? You started right. with this yep. idea, you got it out there. Talk to me a little bit about what you've learned about actually being an entrepreneur as well. That's a fabulous question. In fact, um, yeah, we, we really, I mean, I figured out that my unique value is helping people sell without being salesy, be confident mm -hmm. making your offer. And that you guys, this was um, right during the, the recession. Know, 2009. Right? Yeah. I mean, it was very, you know, similar timing as, as to what's happening with meant for more right now. It was just like, when I figured that out, people needed to know how to create more sales. So you can, you know, the, here's the steps like in, in entrepreneurship that we've taken, you know, without raising rounds of money, it's all just been, we make the money, we grow the team, we make the money, we grow the team, we serve people. So in our model, the first step is figuring out your unique value. Mm -hmm. Once you know it, the second step is turning it into an offer. We call that nail your offer. It's one of our first paid programs that people will do. And you can look at all this at uh, lisasasevich.com. I was going to talk yeah. about that too. Um, and then once you've turned it into an offer, we then have what we call create the love your life sales machine. And that is, you know, how do you want to get your offer out to the world? Some people just want to talk to people one-on-one, -on -one, get referrals and talk to people one-on-one -on -one or people they meet at networking. So we have a model for that. Some people want to get their offer out through speaking. You know, you can speak just like virtually like now or eventually when we're all allowed out of our house from live stages. And, um, you know, you do that a lot. I do that a lot. You can actually make your offer, your invitation to more than one person at a time that way. So we're the brand holders of a product called Speak to Sell that shows you exactly how to do that. Again, that's me turning my knowledge of how I would get on stages and sell into profit. I organized what I knew and now I teach it as a class. I love right? it. Some of you have been doing, some of you want to get your work online. We have a model for that. So there's lots of different ways to make your offer, but the first thing is knowing what it is. So, you know, just in meant for more, the, there's five steps to the formula and, and really five steps that each of us need to go on, on the journey. The first step is making peace with sales. You've got to get okay with making your invitation. We help you with that. The second step is what is your unique value? And you go through a bunch of exercises to, to figure out that second step. In fact, anyone listening now, I have a gift for you. If you want to start in on the second step while you wait for your book to come, so go order the book on Amazon, Barnes and Noble. Everyone says order two, you know, I'm like get two because yes. you're going to be looking across the table at your husband, your sister-in-law, your, you know, adult teenage, uh, you know, it. and think, thinking you're meant for more too. Here, take mine. You'll be glad you got two. Um, but anyway, if you want to start on step two, I have a gift for you. This was a, a course I started developing that we were going to charge $500 for. And then we all went into lockdown. I thought I'm giving it away for free. So if you go to meantformoregift.com, meantformoregift.com, you can put in your name and email and we will send you access. So then you go check your email uh, to my paid course. Um, and you get it for free right now. It's called Discover Your That's Unique That's amazing. So wow. I want you to be able to do that while you're waiting yeah. for your book. That's so huge. Um, yeah. And then after that, we teach you how to really get into action with what you learned and then how to turn that into an offer without being pushy, without being salesy. How can you actually make your offer to help other people? And I mean, listen, I really want you to expand your mind because 
Like I, I had a gal who was a high school college counselor, Doreen, 25 years. She was that one person in the high school that helps everybody get into college. We all know they do a great job, but there, there's not enough of them to go around. And people were always asking her for more advice, but she didn't, she hadn't picked her own brain enough to organize it and be able to give it to them, right? She's one person. Totally. And if you're, if, you're, if, if you're feeling so overwhelmed with all the people you're helping right now, this book's going to save you. It's going to help you pick your own brain so you can help more people. So she went through the steps. She created something called College Prep Roadmap. And you know now she's not working at the high school anymore, although they send her, they send her students all the time. You know, and she's charging $2,000 for every family that goes through her College Prep Roadmap takes them about a dozen at a time. You can do the math on that, you know, and is running classes regularly from home. I like love this. it. I love it. So, well, so that's, that's what I think. I mean, everyone's got, it doesn't matter what industry uh, it's, uh, I've run into so many people who are, you know, whether they're in the health and nutrition industry yeah. or in finance or education and your tools can go across multiple industries. So I'm so excited and thank you so much for gifting the people off of this as well. I think that that's, that I didn't know that was gonna happen. So that's so well, I just, exciting. It's really for you know the people that come to you because you are unstoppable and I really know that you're here providing tools for all of us to be unstoppable. And I know that if there's one thing I could toss into the unstoppable stew, it's really, really helping you guys look inside. So, so there's a couple of actions to take really. Uh, I would say step one, go grab your copy of Meant for More um, on Amazon or your favorite online bookseller. Um, and that will be shipping out on April 14th. So they've already got them in stock. I'm so what? happy. I guess it's considered an essential. Yay! <laughs> That's great. I, I actually don't know, but I know that they're in stock there. I love um, it. While you're waiting, then head on over to meantformoregift.com and we'll give you access to our mini course. It's video and a workbook. You'll get to download a workbook. I just printed mine. Um, it's called Discover Your Unique Value. So you get to do that work. And, um, and you'll start to see, you know, what are those things that I can contribute beyond what I'm already contributing. I have this other uh, fun way. I said I would give you three and I always like to make sure I keep my promises. Um, by the way, I'm laughing because my daughter left her hint. Uh, Yay. What, what do you call these? Well, not really a juice box. They're just boxes, but they're okay. sort of the, the hint juice hint, box. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm sitting here with my water and I look over. It's all the like, same hint. We're all sharing water. space. And yeah, I've got to say, like, being able to have my kids have these you know, and we've been doing little family picnics in the backyard and, you know, just anything. It's spring break right now. Um, these have been great. But anyway, <laughs> so, so happy to hear my, my third little tip just to uh, keep my promise here on giving you guys three places you can start today. This is just kind of a fun one, but it's really, really helps um, is uh, think about where you always meddle. Like you can't not contribute. You can't not butt in. You see somebody doing something and you're like, wait, 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 this would be a better way to do it. You know, in fact, I'll tell you, uh, I had a practice marriage in my twenties, <laughs> you know, just you know, the, <laughs> one of those in and out, uh, <laughs> oops. And, um, you know, but everything he did, whatever he did, because, you know, my gift is just making complex things simple. Yeah. I would always reorganize it. In fact, it was to the point where he looked at me one day and called me Mrs. Betterway. Yeah. <laughs> and I think about that because it's, it's actually one of the breadcrumbs you can follow to your unique value is where are you Mr. Betterway or Mrs. Betterway? It's like however it. someone's going about something. See, you always... something good always happens with the bad, right? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's so like true. you got to pull it out. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, there it is, my confession. But, you know, I it's like it. it's part of how I saw it. So, so take your own inventory, you know, um, and, and, and my biggest like hope is that, that all of us, you know, I've got myself <clears throat> on a 30 minutes twice a day diet of news and information. That's all I need, right? I have a honey who's watching all that stuff for us. I've got my friends and the social groups that I'm in. So 30 minutes twice a day, I get the update on what's going on in the world right now with you know all of the things that we're dealing with and and that, and I that keeps me updated and the rest of the time <clears throat> I'm taking my unique gift and getting it out into the world as much as I can of course even with my kids I want them focused on this too so, so my we, hope is yeah they'll be happy with what you did during this time and 
and I think this will help. I love it. So, so just once they get the meant for more book and they, and they read through and it, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a workbook in a sense where you're doing some work along the way as well. But what would you say like for, for people, I mean, how long do you, every day should they be committing to sort of, you know, really trying to figure this out? Like people say to me constantly, like when you were looking at him, I mean, was it, was it an hour a day? Was it five hours a day? I mean, how much are you really kind of doing the work and yeah. setting aside time? Can you, do you have well, any you thoughts on that? Well, you can start today at meantformoregift.com and okay. you can go through, there are three videos there. You know, if you just watch straight through, they'd maybe take an hour with the workbook, but okay. you want to do the work. So yeah. I would say, you know, give yourself a couple of hours, couple hours. or an hour a day. And when, and then when you get the book, the book is not just like reading, like watching a TV show. It's not a passive read, mm -hmm. it's an active read. In fact, once you get it inside it, you're going to see that there is a URL that you'll go to a website that you'll get a bigger book that actually has all the exercises. You can download the exercises in the Men for More book. So it's really, I'll tell you, it is on par with things that we have put into our $2,000 online programs in this book. Um, how much time you spend is really dependent on how real you want this to be in your life. You know, at the minimum 30 minutes a day, like to, you know, and, but if you are like sitting and you're unable to work right now, make this your work. Totally. Sure and think of all the time that, I mean, I'm, I'm saving two hours commuting uh, right. right now. And so I, I think about that as well, that it's like, this is a time when I could, you know, dedicate to these business ideas for Hint that I've had that we should go and do as well. So I think everybody has the time right now to go and do this and, and why not do it towards bettering, you know, yourself and ultimately your, your happiness. I mean, I think that that's, that's another thing that I've noticed about you, Lisa, and I didn't know you when you were, you know, in these other roles, but I mean, you're always smiling, you're always leading with kindness and, and, you know, and I think it ultimately starts with, you know, obviously you being unstoppable, but also you being, you know, happy, right? So I think if, if you're not happy so often, I tell people like, look at what you're spending the majority of your day doing. If you're doing, you know, going to an office or working at a company that you just don't believe in or don't really like what you're doing, or maybe feel like, you know, you could be doing something else uh, altogether, why not use this time to really figure that stuff out? So I love it. Yeah, yeah so. this is a time that, you know, you could step into your meant for more journey. And, you know, somebody I really love to acknowledge for doing this so publicly so that we can all see an example, because, you know, stepping into this may require, as, as Kara is saying, letting some things go, mm -hmm. right, that, that do not bring you fulfillment. And, Let's take a look at Oprah, right? She's so public, so easy to see. And for 25 years, she was on her dime, all 10 toes with that show. That was like what she was made for. Yeah. And, and, and really, you want to look at all your schools. You have your formal education, if you have that. And you also have like the schools of hard knocks. You know, look how much of who Oprah is came from the school of hard knocks. We've got our spiritual schools we've each been to, right? all the parenting school, relationship school, all that stuff makes each of us who we are. It made her who she is. So for 25 years, like that compilation of her schools made her uniquely qualified totally. to have her amazing show. But then we all watched as she got the meant for more feeling, right? And even though the show was so amazing and you could never imagine it ending, she let it go. I and she it. journeyed, right? She's on. a great and, example. And, and she's, you know, creating own network. Now we could say she's still on the journey with that. All 10 toes aren't necessarily on the dime, right? It's a journey. It's what we're moving toward. And the more she gets closer, the more traction things get. And it's just a beautiful example. So, so yes, we, we, you may, there, are, there may be things, people, habits um, that you could decide to let go of right now. Um, so many people reach financial success and don't have fulfillment. And on this journey, it leads more and more toward fulfillment because it's, it's using the hard earned gifts, <laughs> the God given talents, you know, all those, all those pieces of you. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So Lisa, where do people find you? 
Okay, so you can find me on any social channel uh, at Lisa Sasevich. So you can find us on Facebook and on Instagram and on Twitter and on YouTube. And it's S A S E V I C H. Right, there's no T. S A S E V I C H. Um, maybe you can see it on the screen there. I think so. Um, and, and then um, again, the, two, the 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 if you want to start on this, my inspiration to you is. Number one, be the first to grab the book. It is getting ready to ship. You can place your order, get two copies. You can do that today. By the way, if you go to lisasasevich.com and hit the Meant for More tab, it'll give you all the links of where you can buy Meant for More. Perfect. And um, it'll also show you where if you enter your order number, um, there's, there's $1,000 worth of free training, even more than what I mentioned today, available for you. In it. fact, I'm going to leak something here. Okay, for those of you that stayed till oh, the end. Another one? <laughs> I'm gonna leave something here. I have permission. We just haven't, uh, you'll be the first to know yeah. because of, you know, who knows if shipping will be fast or slow. I want for those of you who go and buy the hardcover book to get to start right away. So I just talked to our publisher, Hay House, and they are allowing me to give you the audio book free right now when you purchase the hardcover today. Oh, I so love it. Go and get the hardcover. Again, the easiest thing to do, lisasasevich.com. Go to the Men for More tab. It'll show you right to where to get the book. You take your order number after you buy the book. You enter it on that page. And we're going to put you into our online portal. That's where you'll get the course I mentioned, Discover Your Unique Value. I'm loading in the audio book in there free. This is never done. Like uh, this, is, this is part of the unprecedented. Yeah audiobooks always release like weeks after. Um, so anyway, just literally before we got on this interview was working out those details, but um, you're the first to know because this is the unstoppable show. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for coming and joining us and everybody get the meant for more book and actually her original one, the queen of sales conversion is also quite excellent. And, uh, Every once in a while, she does uh, nationwide or actually global uh, events. So you should definitely look for those as well because those are pretty fun to join as well. So, well, thank you, Lisa. Uh, and stay you. well through yeah. all of this nuttiness. And you should see my garage. I can't even get out of my car because I know there's no, like, I don't know a true threat to the water supply, but I just like, I want I my hand water. I want water for my family. So I, love it. I took it upon myself to, uh, to go a little crazy there and I'm happy. Well, I we can. love you too. So <laughs> you're, you're awesome. So, all right, great. Thank we'll you. have a great afternoon. Bye everybody. Nice to meet you. If you like what you heard, please help spread the word and leave us a review. You can also follow along with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn at Kara Golden. Do you have a question for me or want to nominate an innovator to Spotlight? Please talk to me at Kara Golden on Twitter. Thanks so much for listening. Until next time, be unstoppable. unstoppable. unstoppable.